Hey guys, Zuljin here, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. It is raining in Remaldor as usual, but we have stuff to do. I did do a little bit. I took down the extra room that we had here and the haberdashery because a lot of you commented that it was in the improper place, and I didn't really notice when I placed it, but um, sometimes I record the videos in bulk and I finally saw. Uh, some of the comments that you guys made so I apologize about the latency but that's just the way workflow goes sometime anyway um, I put down another blueprint for the haberdashery so I would make sure to get it right and all I have to do here is put the fire place here there we go and it's gonna complete the blueprint and now they should be able to use it that's what I'm hoping for and the sewing room is built okay great so everybody should be able to change their clothes and stuff now. Everybody seems to be going that way. Uh-huh. They're entering. I know it's night and I should sleep. Yeah. They're working on it right now. Look at them. They all changed in the same room. It's like a locker room. Wow. <laughs> Our patients must be cured. Maybe they're changing. I don't know what they're doing. Let's go. Uh, we'll, we'll check on them in a little bit. Let's make sure that we sleep so that we don't get ambushed by ghosts. Y'all know how things get at night in Romaldor? It's crazy sauce. All right. So another thing is some people talked about maybe opening up the uh, the building that I closed in. And I got to admit, it was kind of cool at first, but now it's just kind of aggravating. So I do want to fix it up. But this is not going to be a building episode that I know of. It depends what happens when we finish up with this quest. But what I, from what I've been seeing, you guys, I really would like to revamp a lot of the designs that I have here in town. But I don't really have any good materials. Like none. <laughs> like almost all the materials I have are like we have that wood stuff and that's it for cladding. We can actually build stuff out of blocks um, but that would allow, that would be like replacing stuff. We need the furnace or the forge before we actually start turning, we start to make cladding out of uh, the stone blocks like bricks and, um, and uh, um, I think it's called no, it's not cobblestone, but it looks like cobblestone. Anyway, we made some sautéed salmon last time, so we do need to give that up to the patient. This is the one that wants to sautéed salmon. So, we used it. Okay, it's he still needs something, but he needs to rest a little bit. So, let's just cycle the day. Oh, look, he is all dressed up now, or she is. Um, I planted some potatoes, and I harvested my wheat. I'm pretty sure... All of the quests are done. Now, I did see some other stuff in that area that we were at earlier. So, I'm going to have to go check that out. It looks like everybody's good and happy. There are no quest markers that I have yet. So, let me just rest one last time here. And we'll see what happens. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get another quest um, as soon as we give him the last ingredient. We may have to upgrade the town a little bit too. But typically... Um, Oh boy, it tells us that we have to. Okay, I need bouillabaisse, which I think I need to do some fishing for, but let's just see. Bouillabaisse is... Okay, so the only thing I don't have is salmon. Um, I thought I had cooked some salmon. Uh, oh, you know what? I had ate a piece of salmon, and I cooked a piece of salmon. Okay, so I tell you what, let's go fishing. Let's take the red portal and we'll head out to do some fish and we'll try to catch some salmon. And I know I'd like to catch some tuna. Plus, we'll explore that new place as well that I was telling you about. Let's take our our ghetto staircase. Uh, there we go. Um, so yeah, where uh, I was just farming a little bit of materials, kind of where that grave was that uh, we had tried to redo, that we thought something special was going to happen and nothing really happened. <laughs> There's a... Uh, there's some sort of uh, other building over there. I didn't explore it much, but I think there's some treasure chest or something there at the very least. There might be a monster too, I really don't know, but we'll see. And when I say monster, I mean like boss. I don't mean like just a regular old werewolf or something. A bee werewolf, I should say. All right, here's the slime pool. We still don't know what we can make with, with that crown that we got, and I don't think you could. We yeah, that that was the that was the only thing that we got from fishing in there was the big king slime. All right, 
So you see, like, it, I think it's back there. There's a cave and stuff back there, too. So there's a few things that I would like to check out. I don't think we ever got anything special from these, um, these trees, either. So, I'll tell you what. Also, I think I know what I've been doing wrong with fighting. Uh, in a lot of games, you can keep moving as you swing, but like I move, I press my button so fast that I barely move and you stop cold when you swing it. So really an efficient way to fight is more like this. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm going to try to get a little bit better at that because I've been taking some unnecessary hits. Sometimes I watch my footage back and I'm like, man. I suck at fighting. <laughs> I really do. Uh, and it's just because it's um, I, I don't concentrate long enough. I just try to run my mouth the whole time so you guys have something to listen to. I know most people like the commentary and stuff. Oh, look, I'm doing it again. Okay, bam, bam. I still get hit a lot. Bam, bam. All right. The training togs fall apart. I think I actually have some more training togs. Let's see. Yep, I built a spare because I knew I was going to need it because, again, I get hit too much. <laughs> Alright, we need to eat something as well. Um, let's, let's just do some heart fruit, man. I don't think we need heart fruit for anything, really, except for just eating it. They might be a little part of a recipe, so we won't, we won't, like, go all the way out, but we can always get more, too. I could grow it now, too, now that I have the garden and stuff. And let's go ahead and take... A, I don't think it's time for medical herb yet instead of the healing creams all right let's see here so we've already been to the castle there's that archway right here and I think there's a cave on the back side of this mountain that I really want to check out we've already seen kind of uh, the ores and stuff like that so no need to needlessly farm uh, ores that I, I really don't need. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do too. I'm gonna wait for this. No, I'm not gonna wait for the skeleton. I was gonna wait for him if he really wanted to fight. Instead of trying to jump and do some crazy maneuvers. I think I'm just going to take the easy way here. Alright. So we on the back side now. And I'm, again, I'm just kinda looking for um, not the shovel. There we go. I'm learning, you see? Okay. Here is definitely an opening of some sort. Could it be just a couple of ore or whatever? Probably. It might not even be nothing special, but I'm gonna come in. Yeah, it was absolutely nothing special. The cave systems aren't too... Um, crazy over here. And I think I should probably just be able to cut through this side right hill okay behind the castle is where I went everything's fireballing me I know I'm just I'm just like dodging everything we could go straight through the um, I'll tell you what I should probably kill all these things whoo whoo Ouch. Fireballs, man. There we go. Not too shabby. Okay, let's get up here. Thankfully, we got these little ivies to kind of help us along the way. They're not the most amazing things in the world, but they do help. All right. So, if I remember correctly, it's like back here. Man. I'm, I use a lot of food fighting. Which, I mean, if you ever fought in real life, well, I don't mean like fought, like hurt somebody. Um, I'm talking about like, you know, spar. Like, I used to take karate when I was a kid. And uh, it, it, it takes a lot of energy out of you. Here it is, y'all. Here's what I'm talking about. Alright, we need to go down here. A little bit slow. Not ridiculously slow or anything. There's poison down here. Alright. So everything turns bad right here. I don't know what's in here, but... 
Did I just hear some bloop, bloop, bloop? I don't think you can fish in the poison either. I'm going to try. Nope, can't fish here. Okay, that's fine. Let's go into here and see what's going on. Examine. There's a message carved into the monument. I am Thalmus, the all-knowing. May whosoever hath wisdom let its blinding brilliance shine forth. The stone thou seest before thee describe a time. This time is now twixt morn and noon, or early in the night. Advance the hours to the time twixt noon and eventide, or early in the morn. So, I think what they're telling you is to make a bed? I, sh I don't even need um, them three high. We could just make a room right here. It would have been faster to do it two at a time. Alright, and I think I already have a door. I'm just going to make a door into the side right here. Alright, and I'll put... Oh, I didn't mean... Golemite. Alright. I needed that from before. Let's do the door right here. Man, not the shovel. Okay, I need to use one of these now. Alright, so I need a light source now. I think I have all what I need. Uh, let's pull out the, uh, the cooking fire too. I think that serves as a source of light. All right, and I'm guessing, let's see what else. We're probably going to need, we do have fire, well, I'll pull fire just in case, and we need a bed. So I don't understand all that betwixt lingo, but, okay, it does build a room, and I could sleep in it. Let's see if it does anything for the chest opening. I don't know. Okay, let's see what it says. The stones thou seest before thee describe a time. Oh, okay. So the time is now twixt morn and noon. Or early in the night. I see what's going on. So, it's like 9 p.m. or 15 minutes to 12. Alright, advance the hours to a time. Twixt noon and eventide. Okay, I don't know. Or early in the morn. So, to a time. Twixt noon. It's not twixt morn. So, 15 minutes to... Hold on. <laughs> Twixt morn and noon is going to be... Early night would be 9 o'clock. Okay? Early morn would be 9 o'clock. I mean, would it be 9, 8, yeah? 9, oh no. <laughs> I don't know how to figure this out, man. Um, but I do know it's going to be either... Let's see, 15 to 12, so would it be 6? Maybe I can just, okay, so for sure, I have to take that golemite that I just got. Is it on me? Oh, there it is. All right. So basically, the golemite is representing hands, all right? I know, the room is destroyed, but that's okay. So, like, this is a clock. Just just think of it as a clock. The, the square. Okay? So, let's see here. I'm just breaking all this up. Because I don't know if it messes with it or what. Alright. Oh, I gotta take my axe out for this. 
Okay, so we're gonna try the opposite direction is basically what we're gonna do here. And let's see. Oh, I see. So it, it tells you where to put it when you place it correctly. So we definitely need it here, here, and here. So do we have to go up now? Yep. So basically it's just moving one to the left. Alright, solve the puzzle. Hot dog! I didn't even look that up, I'm so proud! Oh. First red block. Nice. And... Ah, first evil idol. Okay, so the evil idols you can make those defensive structures with, which we still don't have the right materials and stuff to do all that, but hey, it's a material. All right. Um, we might as well grab the, uh, the chest. And I want to grab all the golemite. Man, give me the chest. All right. I can't believe, man. Yeah, definitely want to grab the Golemite. That's used for some pretty good stuff. Okay. Or at least it was in the other scenario. Alright, so... With this... I really don't know... Oh, there's a, there's a little place back here that I didn't see before. Hold up. Anything in here? I gotta check. There's one piece of ore that I don't have that just would help me out. It'd be awesome. All right, there's some ruby and stuff, but that's not doing anybody any good. I'll grab it just because I'm back here, and I won't say it's valuable because that's really not true. You can't use something; it's actually not valuable. All right. Sorry, I was all in your grill right there for a minute. Okay, well, so we got a few things. We still need to do the fishing. And because there's different kinds of fish over here, this would be the place to do it. Uh, let's see. Can I just fish here? Is this good enough for uh, tuna and stuff? It's going to let me. All right, sardines, it's not what I'm looking for. I need to go to the other place. Oh, uh, I was trying to get up. There we go. This will be faster. I wonder, I know these guys, I could go to those other, um, those other guys in that, that first area and give them those cures too? That's another thing I can do. I think it's only going to reward me with extras. I don't think there's going to be any furnaces or anything. I seriously think I'm going to have to go to a new area which to get that stuff. Which will be which will consist of advancing the, um, the quest line. Which, from my experience in this scenario, has only really come from healing people in town like at the sick at the sick bay so we got to get this this um this buoy base and that should that should help ouch look at that much better this guy's just going to back up to his heart's content all right uh what was the water around here a little bit further in i guess Ouch. They still hit like trucks, those guys. And he got up again. Alright. Ate the herbs and we good. Now, let's see if we could catch some more salmon. 
and hopefully some tuna. I think I did it from here. There's also some more area over here that we can kind of look at. Let's see. Boots, trash. Come on, give me something good, mister. Branch. Actually, that's actually pretty good. I needed branches. Oh, don't tell me it's night again. Welly. All I really need is one salmon. It's gonna be, it's gonna suck a lot if it turns night on me to go start interrupting my fishing. Dude. I'm glad these fishing rods don't have durability either. Because that would be aggravating, man. Alright, one more. I haven't caught any real fish right here. I might just have to move a little bit. Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely moving. Where did I catch those things before? Maybe in the actual water right here, like the pond? Oh, give me a branch. I need that. Oh! Oh, man. Alright, he's gonna get back up again, too. No, he's not. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Ghost are coming. I hear him. Dang it! Wasn't even ghost. Oh, I critted him. Hurry. Palm lumber? What luck? <laughs> That's an understatement. Okay. Where was I catching that stuff last time, man? Where was I catching that stuff? Maybe over here? I'm gonna try this little pond over here, too. Maybe it was a little bit further. It says, ah, oh, there's the first ghost. They're coming. Skeletons too. Ouch, hold on, hold up. All right, we just probably gonna have to wait out the night at this point or fight through it, I should say. Man. Oh my. Was that a fireball from a mage? Or no, that was a drakey. Good lord, man. Things hit hard. So many medical herbs. Okay, I'm glad I at least crit these guys. Can I fish now? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. Oh, it's not the end of the world. At least I gained some health from it. I wish it wouldn't let you use it unless you needed it. Okay, palm lumber, one more cast. Our sword's almost broken too, man. Not that they're real hard to make, but... Alright. Let's go a little bit further. I think this is where we caught them originally. I think. Sardine. I knew it. Stupid ghost. Give me a sunshine, please. Have mercy on my soul. I can't see with the leaves. Oh, sunshine. Red snapper. Holy cow. Tuna! Okay, salmon, baby. Salmon, 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 salmon. This is the place, though. I need some salmon in my life. Tuna. 
So far we caught three different kinds of fish right here. Tuna, come on, salmon. Sorty, everything but salmon, y'all. I had two. I had enough to do it, too. Sorty, I might have to move a little bit. Maybe this exact spot doesn't yield him. Salmon! Hot dog! Alright. So, I'm marking this spot, by the way. Okay. Let's just mark this spot, yo. Alright. Now we know where it's at. Alright, we can always come back here. No problem. Um... Let's just go make that. Let's let's go home and make it. We have so many angel wings. We could just come back here. It'll be nighttime before you know it anyway. So much fish in this episode, guys. I'm sorry it, it took me so long to find it, but it was fun to figure it out. Uh, and to figure that riddle out. That was pretty cool, too. Okay, so... Booyah Base! That's where it's at. Build. Booy base. We did need some hard fruit for it. All right. So let's um, let's put up, put away this, 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 this. I should have put that away too, but that's fine. All right. I am gonna put it away. All right. Booy base. Where is that? Where's it at? Uh, it looks like that. Okay, don't eat it, Z. Do not eat it. All right, use. Beautiful. Okay, talk to Ellie. Hazel is fully cured. Ellie has a quest now. Yes, she does. How I knew it. Ellie. Ellie. Oh, thank you, Zul'jin. Our new patients are doing wonderfully well. From Geronimus' or Geronimo's observations and the patient's own accounts, it seems they were suffering from some kind of wasting disease. I don't doubt their nourishing food that you prepared for them was a key factor in their recovery. But we can't rest on laurels just yet. On our laurels just yet. But pa the patients who arrived here earlier are still bedridden. If only we could determine what causes their affliction, we might have some hope of healing them. I don't know what more we could do for these poor souls. I fear all I can do is stay by their side and comfort them in their doctor's tower. Soldier my lamb, it took me too long to realize just how powerless I am to help these people. However much I may mop the sweat from their brows or reassure them that all will be well, they come no closer to recovery. Poor Ellie. If it would rid this, if it would rid this world of this accursed plague, then I would gladly offer myself in their place. Oh, Ellie, you so, you so selfless. Oh, Almighty Rubus, if you truly are to watch, do watch over us. Please find it within your heart to save our poor beleaguered patients. She coughed twice. I hope she's not getting sick. Oh no, she might be getting sick, y'all. She might be getting sick, and we're gonna have to do the fight next time we come back. That's what those two swords are. So, we're gonna do that this episode because this one has gone kinda long. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.